Hello. Hello, dear mothers, mothers of sons. I wanted to take a moment to connect with you intimately, personally, a little more groundedly, um, in face-to-face -face real time to welcome you and to invite you into this holy, sacred containment of community and support and resourcing and celebrating and revealing the beautiful wisdom, the unbelievable knowing that mothers carry within. So I created this community private space so that mothers, mothers of boys, can come together um, in a way that's free, that's safe, that's accessible, um, that's honorable, and that's of deep, deep integrity and um, profound depth and intimacy. And so I would love, love, love for each of you, each of you who are seeing this, each of you who will continue to come forward and be a part of our um, deepening circle to share about your journey with your boys and to share about this otherworldly commitment to transforming the way we relate to the masculine. And I've been on this path of the mother of son's path, certainly for as many years as I've been mothering boys, but um, this incredible uh, calling to really serve mothers of sons in a way that I, I wasn't quite expecting. I never intended to become a mother <laughs> for starters, but most definitely not a mother to boys. And I have three boys. And I am in partnership, married to a man who is the youngest of five boys. So did I ever call this one in? And so out of that, um, both heart-wrenching and devoted commitment, I wanted to hold hands with other mothers, other mothers of, of boys who feel, you know, both incredibly aware that there's something so um, Oh, mystical, empowering, incredibly um, heart, heart aching, heart striking and initiatory in this journey of mothering, mothering sons. And so I've been blessed to walk very closely and intimate with, intimately with women who are on this path and wanting to and are um, transforming the way that they are relating to their own inner masculine and to the wounds that we all have experienced at different layers and levels in our own upbringing and lives. And, and these wounds that live so deeply inside of us each time we go to connect with our boys or our husbands or our brothers or the men in the world. And so it takes an incredible amount of bravery and dedication to continue to keep bringing that forward into our own hearts and into the light so that we can transform that and truly be, truly be a healing, um, healing medicine, healing balm for the men in our lives and for the masculine in our own being. And so this work and this journey is really about um, healing the inner feminine and masculine so that we can hold a very clear container for what is coming forward on the planet now, which is such a profound awakening for men to really come home to themselves and for our boys to grow up uh, on this passage of really being the divine, divine reflection of the masculine that they truly can be and being in touch with their own internal relationship with the feminine so that they can greet women and their own partners, girlfriends, uh, mothers, <laughs> us, and their wise elders in a very loving and beautiful and healthy uh, interrelational way that we all have the capacity to. So I want to beckon you here. I want to beckon you into this space to share, to ask questions, to know at the deepest level that we are not here to follow anyone else's um, lead, 
We're here to be the leader of ourselves and to dig so deep so that we can come to a profound self-awareness of where our wounds are playing out and where our magic is beckoning to come forward and, and, and lead the way and to heal our families and our commitment to our children, to our boys, to our partners, and to our own way of showing up in the world with our gifts, um, with our healthy financial uh, well-being, uh, and with the mission, you know, the mission that each of us are here to spearhead and shine so softly, so elegantly, and so powerfully a light upon for others to um, transform and heal within their own right. So please join me here. Please join me vulnerably. Please share your story. Please come forward and offer little snippets, you know, really both funny, deep, heart-wrenching and vulnerable um, stories from your own path with your boys, however old they may be. They may be babes. They may be in your womb. They may be having yet to even seed inside of your, your life and your body. They may be grown. They may be adults or fathers of their own. <laughs> and maybe you don't have children. Maybe you don't have boys, but you deeply relate to this journey of healing, how we as women and mothers are relating to the masculine. And so, um, so far, really mostly I've been sharing on this forum, and that is not my desire or intention. I really wish this to be a really safe, holy ground where women are coming forward and pouring out art out their hearts and being received uh, very sacredly and reverently in profound sisterhood. And uh, one of my specialties is cultivating, you know, a clear chamber and alchemical um, container for the vibrant uh, transformation of sisterhood. Because when women come together, there is something so powerful that does not need to be manipulated, guided, or instructed. We simply know how to love each other and love each other profoundly and be this incredible reflective force for one another on this path. So you, what you will not find here, and though I'm not saying it can't be offered, is you won't find a bunch of articles or how-tos, although, again, I'm not saying I might not post those or somebody else, but what I really want to cultivate is a space where um, mothers can feel deeply respected in their own right and in their wisdom and in that um, undoing that, that uh, the the messy, you know, the messy, unkempt, raw, vulnerable parts of our stories with ourselves as mothers and with our boys, with our husbands, with the men of the world, so that we know this isn't about trying to look perfect. This isn't about knowing, being experts, um, having it all together. This is about being there for each other and being willing to be seen in the process of raising boys and healing the way we relate to the masculine. So thank you for listening and engaging with me in this incredible forest sanctuary on Easter Sunday. I can't wait to get to know each of you more and to hear your stories and your courageous um, commitment to all the ways you are bringing forward the example of the healed and healing divine feminine and masculine relationship in, in your lives. So much love and blessings.